Hi, do you remember pi, that famous irrational number? The number that cannot be expressed as a fraction of two integers, and therefore some people feel compelled to memorize thousands of its digits or lay them out on an airfield. Have you ever wondered why pi is irrational? I mean, sure, the square root of 2 is irrational. Everybody has shown that in school. But what about pi? Why were we never given any reason for its irrationality? There is a one-page proof by Ivan Niven, but it uses a good dose of calculus. And even then, boy do its steps come out of left field. This seems far away from circles and geometry. Can it really be shown any simpler? This series of videos wants to give an answer to that. An elementary proof that pi is irrational. We will use high school level algebra and trigonometric functions, where angles are measured in radians, not degrees. Calculus will not be required. The proof follows the method found by Johann Lambert in 1761. What I like about it is that each of its five steps is clearly motivated. First, we find formulas for the sine and cosine of an angle. This is never done in school because we have calculators. But how does the calculator find the sine of an angle? The goal will then be to show that for rational values of x, the tangent, that is sine divided by cosine, is irrational. For this, we then turn away from functions for a moment and look at fractions. In particular, how they are turned into continued fractions. Infinitely nested continued fractions are shown to be typically irrational, under a simple condition. Because we want to divide sine by cosine, which are functions, we then extend the method of generating a continued fraction from integers to functions, namely polynomials. A geometric picture inherited from step 2 will guide us. Then, in step 4, we will be ready to carry out the division and get an infinitely nested continued fraction for the tangent of x, with a simple number pattern inside. Finally, the condition for irrationality from step 2 will apply and thus the tangent of a rational number is irrational. Since the tangent of pi over 4 equals 1, pi cannot be rational. So, I hope you join me for this journey to uncover the mystery behind the irrational number pi. We start with step 1 in the next video.